Fans switched their televisions off as Piers Morgan made a return to breakfast TV over the weekend. Joining Sophie Rayworth for the paper review on BBC's new Sunday morning show, the 56-year-old kicked off by mentioning his gripes with Meghan Markle. The broadcaster quit Good Morning Britain after making a series of comments and accusations about the Duchess of Sussex. But he marked his return to morning telly by making a comment about the incident which sparked 54,595 Ofcom complaints. He said, I haven't been on breakfast television for nearly a year, it feels weird but sort of nice. My one question for you is, am I allowed to have an opinion? Because that was the problem last time. As Sophie and Piers made their way through the papers they eventually landed on a story about Prince Harry and Meghan's request to have protection from the British police so they can visit the UK. Piers hit out at the couple for their brazen double standard and said, it was chillingly inevitable that these two, Harry and Meghan, would pop their heads up again right when the Queen least wants them to. Why should the British police protect him? He's now a private citizen, he doesn't do any royal duties, they're making hundreds of millions of dollars fleecing their royal titles, which they still have while simultaneously trashing the royal family and the institution of the monarchy that his grandmother is the head of, and now they want to have their cake as always. I think again there's a brazen double standard. One fan wrote, why the hell is Piers Morgan on TV on a Sunday morning and why was he given carte blanche to air his obsessive, creepy anger with Prince Harry and Meghan? BBC get your act together and keep him off your programs. Had to turn over to Phillips. Another added, turns on Beeb's Sunday morning, sees Piers Morgan mincing about Harry and Meghan again, turns off Sunday morning. Thought I'd have a look at Sophie Raworth's show as I refuse to watch Mar. Five minutes in and at Piers Morgan is on the screen, one minute later he's having a go at Prince Harry. Not exactly the new, dynamic Sunday morning I'd hoped for. Same old, same old. Reach for remote. Off, chimed another fan. And echoing previous comments about Piers' obsession with Meghan, another wrote, Piers Morgan slagging off Harry and Meghan on live TV. Who would have expected that? The man's obsession is frightening. In addition, writing in his latest column, Mr. Morgan said, there was a wearisome inevitability that just when the Queen least needed her renegade royal grandson to pipe up whining again from his Californian mansion, he would do exactly that. The outspoken journalist was similarly scathing in a Twitter post attacking the prince. He said, Prince Harry behaving like a shameless entitled hypocrite when the Queen least needs it is wearisomely inevitable. He gave up his right to police protection when he abandoned Britain and royal duty. His comments were quickly slammed by the royal couple's fiercely loyal fans, dubbed Sussex Squaters. Mazik wrote, he's still the future king's brother whether he wants to be a royal or not. That puts him and his family in a potentially vulnerable position. The royal family should protect them even if they are selfishly protecting themselves in the process. Megzan said, he is entitled to protection because he was born into the royal family. That's not his fault. Being born into any family does not mean you have to spend your life in a role dictated by them. He has offered to pay for it himself. Stop attacking him all the time. Not everyone was unhappy to see Piers return to the screens though, one viewer wrote, Piers Morgan on the money this morning. Another said, my Sunday just made better with seeing Piers' great thoughts and opinions. After discussing the headlines he told Sophie about his new talk TV show. He said, I'm launching a new global daily TV show. It starts in the spring. It will air daily in the UK, daily in the US, daily in Australia as well so I will be a tri-continental irritant. It's something I've been aspiring to be for some time. It's going to be debate and big interviews. If you've missed me on morning TV I'm sorry but I'll be back very soon. If you haven't missed me, I'm not sorry.